Good morning, everyone. This is Gail with Bring It to Life, and I'm bringing you craft series summer, spring, uh, number five. Um, I think some of you will remember me hauling these from Michael's a while back. Um, they have these in their um, little dollar, two dollar, three dollar bins. They're from Craft Smart, and uh, they're called Matchboxes. And I have a couple of more packages here because I've been working on these um, for my craft series. Now, if you don't find these, don't be alarmed. You can always buy Matchbox real ones and decoupage them. Or you can try to make your own little boxes. Um, I think they were on sale when I got them. But I've seen, I've seen them. I just didn't buy any more. Um, and what I made with them is mini sewing kits. These are great for your purses or whatever. So, um, let me just show you. This is how I package them. I put them in a little bag because I thought just the box by itself was cute and I didn't want to put any paper behind it. See with paper behind it, how busy. I did make a topper for it and a little uh, medallion. It's a little pair of scissors. And then I just printed a mini sewing kit tags um, on my computer. See, and then I just cutting them out. You know, you can make those any way you want to, but that's how I did mine. And um, what's inside? You say. Well, you what you're gonna need? Let me just start out. Okay, you're gonna need some Matchbox, uh, of course. And then what I did is I took some of my cardstock and I cut these one by one, one inch by one inch. And as you can tell at the top, do you see those? They have like little. Um, uh, holes and I am taking my tread and I'm rolling tread enough for like one or two usage around it I'm actually doing uh, black navy blue and white those are uh, popular colors to put into your um, little sewing kits uh, if you go to a hotel or whatever they have them so that's what you will need I actually picked this color paper because I felt like that was look more vintage looking and it matched most of my boxes so I just decided to go with this paper I'm just using a scrap that I have around here and uh, these measure I believe it was four four by yeah four by fours let me make sure okay let me just make sure that way uh, yes four by four by fours and then I when I fold it into it's two inches on each eye then I put my medallion at the top like this okay so I went to sorry here I'm gonna move I don't want to move too much so I went to um, Walmart and I bought this 45 needle kit and what I'm doing inside is I'm just putting um, I thought I had one started but I'm putting about three needles, a little thing of tread, right? And then I'm just grabbing some of my older buttons. And I'm using the smaller ones. These are a little bit bigger than what I'm using. Let me just see if I have one to grab real quick here. Ah, of course it went in. Oh, it's about this size, very small ones. And I'm tucking in into my little sewing kits. So very simple. Um, this doesn't take a lot of time. Um, I'm going to put these at my craft fair for $2. Reason is, is because it takes time. And um, by the time you think about the needles, the paper, and the matchbox, so about $2 a piece. How cool is this? I'm going to put um, great for the college uh, person, great for traveling, great for your purse, put it in your glove compartment. You never know when you're going to need. And look how cute it's small and you know us women, we carry so much in our purses that I think that this size would fit perfectly um, in your purse. So that is what I did. I started them. I'm going to have about only 16 of them because that's what I collected. Uh, I want to see how they're going to go first. It's not my craft fair. If I do the first one, it's not until October. That's the one that I want to do. And then I think I, December 1st. But I kind of want to see where these go first. And I had about 16 of them so right now I'm halfway there and oh the bags oh, yeah can't forget the bags these little bags are treat bags that you can buy at uh, Walmart in that like 
decorate uh, cake decorating uh, side or whatever and of course I don't have my so I have a little mess going on on because I am also cleaning out again and reorganizing my craft room because for some reason this is what happens when I'm working um, I have projects started and so I just you know put everything here and then I um, do my inventory which is to me is very important oh my gosh well, I'll have to link the information about the bags below, but um, they're just like those little tree bags. They're very small, and um, I think there was like 40 or 50 of them in this container. So I'm going to go ahead on camera and put a little box together so you can kind of see what I put in there, and then we'll go from there. Putting the tread on our little cardboard. It's so simple. Because you have the three slots here, you just take your tread and you just go around and you just you know put enough for a couple of usage especially buttons it's usually what people lose the most when they go on a the vacation they lose a button and then I just cut it that's it and now I'm gonna do the other one and that's simple so what does go in that little sewing kit of course some little needles so I put about three of them okay that little tread that I put together I'm actually putting about four small buttons Oops. four buttons Oops. well actually if I would put them in the box it would be better okay I'll get that one and some safety pins because you always know popping a button is not cool so four but uh, four safety pins Pins. and there you have it it's all together how cool is that it's not a lot it's not heavy it's just perfect and then I just grab one of my little bags you just slide it in okay then you take your topper and you fold it in half and you take your handy dandy um, stapler simple and once you assembly these things you just assembly put them together done easy you know cute and I think it's different you know it's a different idea and then you do your medallion which I am using my Two and a half by five. So and you use your stamp. And I actually am using one of oh my goodness. I really need to pick up before I keep going. So I use one of my scissor, smaller scissor stamp that I got on sale at Hobby Lobby for two dollars. They were actually three ninety nine, but that's what I got it for. And I'm using my Tim, um, Jim Holtz or Tim Holtz or whatever, a distress ink, and I'm using the Ground Espresso one. I just love that antique look with the brown. Let me stamp this real quick here. And one of my mini sewing kit little signs that I made up. And I'm sorry about the light. I'm working on that. I am truly am. Because at some point here, I'm going to get start screaming. Like, I don't understand the lighting in here. Oh, it's so bad. And I have all of these spotlights that I spend money on, but it's just not working. Today, I'm going to put an overhead light like one of those garage lights up and see where that gets me anyways so see how cute that is and then you just put tape behind it oops mini sewing kits and then you just want to put I just actually put the tape right here for right now that way it's easier Ta -da. Look how cute. Look how cute when you put a little... It just changes everything, doesn't it? It just looks... 
I don't know, presentable and sellable. And there you have it, a mini sewing kit for my craft idea number five. Um, these are so simple. And I think if, you know, you put them out and you put those little tags, I say, great for a college kid, for your purse, for your glove compartment, good for, great for stocking stuffers. Um, just like simple little things like that. Uh, even somebody in a retirement home or whatever. They just make such cute, cute little gifts. So I will be selling these for $2. And like I said, it's not until October. So whenever I do have my craft fair, I will let you know how they did. So remember, guys, I bring things home. I bring it with love and I bring it to life. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, uh, sharing my videos. And happy crafting. See you next time. <music>